Hello everyone. In this video, I want to show you four uh, kind of more advanced uh, features in SolidWorks Sketch. So uh, one of them is called a block. So what is a block? I'll show you. And along with that, I want to show you a, a single command that can make uh, almost everything in the sketch fully defined, which is uh, could be interesting, although um, it has drawbacks too because you have to do some rework but uh, let me just show you that first so let's say here um, I uh, make a, a circle like that and then another circle like this and then I connect them by a line okay now the thing I told you is, if you go here under display delete relations, there is one thing called fully defined sketch. And that is quite interesting. So you click on this and it says, do you want me to make everything fully defined or just some stuff? You say, well, let's do it on everything. And it is going to combine relations and dimensions to do it. Now look, here we go. It just knew that it has to provide the center to center offset and these two diameters and that's all you need now most of the time these are not the numbers that you want so you need to probably go back and what go back and change some of these but um, at the end of the day right at least it shows you one possible way to make a sketch fully defined if you are uh, basically a uh, it's your first time or you're very early, uh, you're not still an advanced user or something. So it can kind of uh, help you accelerate uh, drawing your sketches. Okay, so I made this, okay? And I made it fully defined, which means nothing here moves with respect to anything. But uh, the block idea is an interesting one. So in block idea here, I'm not going to position these uh, objects anywhere okay so uh, this guy can move freely right because it's not positioned anywhere and uh, you see that I can change the shape of it or anything right now uh, the block is this so here you choose this whole thing right and then say what you click here and say make a block or another way to do it is look if you select everything here right one of the options that you get is this guy make a block so you say make all of these a block for me and then you can have an insertion point which is the point the handle where you grab and drop the uh, block into the sketch so let's say here uh, this that is the insertion point and let's say i drop it on that uh, center here Okay, so look here, I made this a block and I'm still in the sketch. The color goes kind of gray, right? <laughs> so it's not blue anymore, underdefined or fully defined or anything. You still see it's underdefined, but look now. I can grab it and I can move it and nothing is going to change, okay? From any point, if I grab it and move it, the whole thing will uh, move together. So basically, uh, a block is gonna make your objects fixed together right and now you might say okay what's so special about this well let me tell you what's special about this so here I made a block right and uh, now I can give it a different name if I don't like this name block one one right I can always go and uh, go to properties of it and change the name of it so call it maybe link link block or something right and now the good thing is this acts like a template so anywhere else I want to bring this template and I want to use it I can just bring and drop this onto the sketch that I have so for example let's say uh, I want to have four of these in one sketch and at different orientations right so what I can do is let's say I go to this front plane 
and I can make four of these, change the orientation, and even I can add them together. I can connect them. I can put constraints on them. And then I'll show you one of the big advantages of blocks. You can use them for motion uh, simulations, basically. So in order to do motion simulations in SOLIDWORKS, some simple ones, you really do not need to do a motion, a proper motion analysis or motion study. You can use these blocks for that, okay? And uh, let me show you that. But before that, as I said, these guys can be acting like a template, and so you can have them or save them in the design library. So here is the design library of SOLIDWORKS. And you see here, I have already uh, saved one called link and another one called pulley, okay, in the folder of the design library of SOLIDWORKS. So you can copy this. And if you uh, copy this, look, when you say save as, right? So you can save it, right? here as sldprt so you might say what are those those they don't look like sldprt they are not so if you want to save a, a block you should not save the file you should basically go here look you see there is a toolbar for blocks and uh, right now this is the block that i want to save so i select it and then say what save the block and when you save it, the format of the file is SLDBLK, SOLIDWORKS block. It's not SLDPRT. So you can save it in the design library of SOLIDWORKS, okay? So right now, as I said, I made one ahead of time, this guy, and call it link, which is the same as this one. Now, let's say, uh, let me get rid of this because I already have it. Okay, so let me delete that. And now I want to go to sketch one and I want to bring some of this uh, block. So here, look, all I need is just drag and drop. There we go. That's one. This is two. This is three. This is four. I'm done. Now I say, okay. Now, one of the things you can do with these blocks is if you click on them, okay, you can change their scale and you can change their angle from the insertion point. Look. So you see here, I'm lifting this to 30 degree angle. And if I want, as I said, I can scale it, right? Something like that. And okay, here, that's one. Let's get it out of the way. And let's get this other one also, maybe 30 degrees, right? And uh, here, just let's uh, keep the scale of this like that. And... Um, now, maybe this one, let's also increase the scale of this one. Something like this. So now look what I can do with these uh, four uh, blocks. So I select these points and make them coincident. And then these two guys and make them coincident. And then these two and finally, these last two, if I can do that. Let's see if the length would match. Yes, it does. And I can also force this line to be horizontal, like this. Now, if you look, the whole thing moves together, and also it acts like a four-bar linkage. But this guy is still moving. So if I want, instead of just making it horizontal, I can fix it. So that acts like a ground link for me. And now look here. There we go. Look. Four bar linkage. So I can have a what? I can have a four bar linkage as simple as that. Or I can have many other mechanisms just by simply what? Using a block. You see? Here also I made this sketch. I converted it into a block. And then I saved it to my uh, design library in a block called I. So now if I go ahead and um, close this and then create a cube, right? And then I can bring this uh, block here, as I said, and drop this on any surface and use it, for example, for a uh, cut extrude, right? So um, Let's make this guy fully defined and uh, so let's say it's five by five by five bucks. Right. 
like this, right? So this is the box. Now, as I said, I go here and I have this eye. You might say, could you just grab it and drop it here? Well, let's see if I can. So look here, do you see that? So I put it right there, okay? And uh, maybe, let's say just for now, okay. So you see, right now I have this sketch already created just by dropping the block onto the surface I want, right? And then, here we go. We get out and go to features and see if I can cut extrude that. With that sketch, I can cut extrude it for maybe half an inch or something like that. You see? Here we go. So now I have that template. If I want to make one on the top, I just go there and grab the eye and boom. Drop it on this one. And uh, that's good there. And so now my sketch is good to go. Right? Of course, you have to place it properly. But I have this. And simply, again, I can what? I can do one cut here. And then let's just do one more on uh, this surface over there. Okay, so here is good, and let's do one cut over here. So you see how fast you can use that block as a template and do the job. So blocks are good for templates, uh, sketch templates. A block are good to see the uh, to keep the relations between some sketch entities fixed. So you can use them like rigid bodies and use them for uh, motion analysis and simulation in 2D without creating any rigid body. Okay, finally, the last thing I want to show you is um, I here I made a, um, a block called pulleys. And let's go here to the front plane and add that. And I want to use it for simulation of uh, pulleys when I want to add to them some belt and have the pulleys rotate together. So uh, I want to show the command belt and chain. Now here, uh, I want to add some lines as a reference for the rotation of these pulleys. So you can see one is spinning faster than the other one. So can I edit a block? Yes, I can right click on it and say edit block, right? And as I said, let's say go ahead and add two vertical lines on here and here. Okay, and uh, now this is my pulley. Uh, so with these two reference lines. So now I want to add a belt all over these two without me the needing to bring these lines, making them tangent to the circles and then trim the extra portion of the lines and the extra portion of the arcs and then finding the total length I can just add a simple use a simple command belt chain and drop a belt all over it not only it gives me the total length of the belt it connects these two circles together so you can uh, kinematically rotate them together okay and so uh, that command is not typically available here. For that, you need to go to Tools, Sketch Entities, and scroll down until you see Belt and Chain. And here you need to specify this one and this one as the belt member. But look what happens when I choose these, this one and this one. And boom, you get the error. Say, so, hey, I cannot do that. And the reason here is both of these uh, pulleys belong to the same block. They have to belong to different blades. Each one should have a block of their own, not something like this. Okay, so if you want them to be connected together, each one should be a block of its own. So uh, let's go back and convert each one of them to a separate block. So again, I can go and edit that. Another thing you can do with a block is you can explode the block. What does explode mean? It means convert the block into a regular sketch. Look. You see, the block is gone. It was a block here. Now it's gone. It's converted back to a sketch. Now look what I do. So I select this one and this one, and then convert these two guys into a block with the insertion point right there. And this guy is called like block 4.1. I can right click, as I said, go to properties and call it the small pulley, right? And then I can select this one and this one, and then I can make these guys a block, right? 
So with those two, I can create a block and put my insertion point right there. And again, this guy, I can call it large pulley. And if you don't like this, you can just make it a construction element, right? You don't really need that for belt. The only reason I added it is just wanted to show you the center to center line. And the thing that matters is this dimension. So now you can see that I have two separate blocks, right? And you can always uh, rebuild them and modify them. Now let's go back to this sketch. See if I can use that uh, belt chain command here. If I select this one and then I select this one, you see, now it does allow me to do it. And then I can give it even thickness if I want to, right? And uh, you clearly see that the belt is added in yellow. And if you want, you can fill it. If you fill it, look, it's going to make it like this. So, you know, when two pulleys are connected like that, they spin in the same direction. When you make it like this, they spin in different directions, opposite directions. And you see the length of it is also given to you. The total length of the belt is 23.38, right? Or in this case, 21.91. Okay, and the belt is going to be engaged and you can give it some thickness and look. Now this uh, sketch is added. And now look at the interesting part. Look at here. You see? Now these two are rotating together and the belt is really... It's like really doing something and you see that the small one is spinning faster. Okay, thank you for your attention and I'll see you in the next video.